speaking of in the ring, you just won the the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament. That is that's got to be an incredible honor as well. You defeated Nyla Rose, a former uh, women's champion. You defeated Athena, current ROH women's champion, which sets that up. And then Ruby, who made the finals last year. So that was uh, quite a run for you. Yeah. Um, I know I, I spoke about how I have so much respect for Athena and same thing with Deanna, how at the beginning of my career, I kind of uh, ran into her a lot. But every single step of the tournament, I faced someone that I deeply did respect, um, has like experience over me, something that I learned and took away from being able to wrestle them. Um, but whereas had I been in this position last year, I would probably walk in a situation like that with a lot of like intimidation and fear. Whereas this year I have a lot more like self-confidence, um, a lot more belief in myself and my abilities. So I didn't walk into those matches thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? These people are going to crush me. I was just like, listen, I got it. I can do it. I will walk into this situation the same way I walk into every single thing. And that is with a smile on my face and whatever happens will happen. Um, and it worked out. <laughs> how does it, how does it feel to no longer be the prospect? You are, you are on the plane with these people on the even plane with these people. When we're talking about Mercedes and Ruby and Athena, like, it's not like, Oh, Willow's that upstart. It's like, Oh no, Willow's a former champion. Willow's a tournament winner. Like she's, she, you're, you're there. You're, you're there. I, I mean, I'll be honest. It's, it's still a bit bizarre. Um, because at this point I've been wrestling for coming up on nine years. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've always been looked at that way. I've always been looked at as like an underdog or somebody who's a rookie or kind of still getting my feet under me. So for people to kind of be shifting that perspective and really seeing me as someone who's there, who's brought it, who's, um, already achieved these accolades, like it's still surreal. I'm still sitting in it and trying to like grasp just the weight of it all. Um, but doing so gratefully. <laughs> Is there a chance that we see you take the Owen Hart Foundation hat from Tony Khan and start to to integrate that in, in, into your persona? Because I understand Martha Hart gave him that hat, but you won the tournament. I would love it. So we were there for Calgary Stampede. There were cowboy hats all over. There was like people just like having a great time. Um, Dr. Dr. Martha Hart was having a great time. She was like in her sequence. And I just, I love the vibes all around. And if you couldn't tell from this conversation and everything I've done up to this point, I'm all about the good vibes. So I personally would, I would uh, tip my hat to that and enjoy it. <laughs> it's great to see that side of the family really getting to enjoy and love wrestling again. I think there was this perception for a long time that they didn't like it. And now we see that we see Martha with this huge smile on her face and she loves participating in AEW stuff. Oh, she's absolutely a sweetheart. Um, so after the show, I had gone and hung out for a little bit and come back to the hotel and she was hanging out in the lobby and we were like, Oh, we got to go over and say hi to Martha. And we were stuck, not stuck, but we found ourselves sitting there talking to her for like an hour, just having a good time. And then we were like, we got to go to sleep. We all have early flights. But um, what a sweetheart. Um, and someone who cares about like every single person who has shown any appreciation to her and her family, she'll double it back to you. Um, so even though that was my first time actually meeting her, it was, it felt very like warm and comforting still. <laughs> 